it's working. It's working now. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Your ass is my boobies. Okay, look then. Working now, we Oops. are live, ladies and gentlemen. Your ass is my boobies. Okay, look then. Working now, we are Oops. live, ladies and gentlemen. Your ass is my boobies. Okay, look then. So, let's uh, begin with this, uh, I guess. Right, so, at this, at this moment, what I'm going to do is... Uh, so, first time I'm going to need to work up on this hub. Why is this all... No idea why this these lines are showing, but uh, fuck it, whatever. Right, so I'm going to need to work up on the hub world a little bit. Um, I'm going to create some upgrades and some different features here. So let's begin by um, yeah, let's work on the hub world. Let me. still works. Oh no! Oh no! Shit, I forgot. Okay, so this is working so far. Actually, the first thing that I will do is I'm going to um, 
first just create a simple button that will restart the level. So let's see. If I'm gonna, uh, 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 trigger enter. On awake. Trigger exit. Update. Uh, yeah, let's put it here. If input dot get key down our button button down reset. Oh, the quotes, right. You set, then um, did I reload level again? Minus ten. Why? Less than, less than. Okay, there we go. Application, load level. Let's see if this will be enough. Okay, let's build this. That should cause no problems at all, hopefully. Yep, there we go. And now let's edit uh, the button. We need to have that button there. So edit project settings, input. Uh, let's say... Do, 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 do. Let's uh, go with this uh, file one. No, now nah, with the submit. Okay, let's name this reset. Positive button R. Key or mouse button access. Right, let's see if this works. Or uh, this is not working, it would seem. to be a, a lowercase letter. All right, all right, okay, fair enough. Let's see if it works then. There we go, and we have a reset button now. So from now on, everything will be much simpler. So, see, yep, working fine. See, oh no, oops, I did a poo poo. Or, okay, so now that resets without much pain, which will undoubtedly be helpful in the future. <laughs> it's still great. So I now have this resetting so I can move on. <laughs> kizer, kizer. So what next? Nobody's watching this, is it?
Kidder, kidder. So, what next? Okay, so let's think about this design for a little bit. That is indeed a secret door. Let's put under there. Over here. Another one here. Another one here. Tristan. Alrighty then. So I guess I'm not entirely alone then. Ha! Ah. Okay, so let's see. Oh shoot, I forgot to change the wind. Okay, all right. So well, let's uh, work on this a little bit. So I guess I will make maybe this one will be for the levels. Uh, this one, uh, this one might be just to start the game. This one can be a level select or something. Uh, uh, this one can be the credits, I guess. This one. No, this one can be the options. Yeah, level, options, power ups. No, this could be the power ups here. Then I'll have to make this looking nifty. Right. Um, uh. I'm thinking about adding a nail gun, which would be something that you could then buy, uh, so that maybe you could shoot some balloons off in a distance um, to, you know, uh, maybe you were uh, popping some balloons, but then you could shoot some nails so that you pop balloons in the a distance so that you can uh, plan out so it gets easier, I guess. Uh, <laughs> So this will be uh, next level. So shop, shop. Why not? Let's keep it simple for now. And now a new scene.
If else, I need to add this event system in the canvas so that the text appears. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's create a kiss uh, for grounds. And uh, walls. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, so this one goes to ground, this one goes to wall. Now I'm going to add a door that goes back to a hub menu. And then I can head here like a things like the nail gun and um, projectiles. Uh, I don't know. I'll just make some nails for now. That will be the projectile. So I'm going to uh, create anything here. Let me just add this here into view. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you should be able to see me now. So, alrighty then. First of all, let's just make sure that everything is erased. Okay, now a nail. So since this is uh, quite the um, hmm, same color, huh? Righty then, so let's see, a nail. Making the tip whiter? No, that that's not a good color. Quick question. Did it open itself from heaven? 
This might work for now, so let's see. Save as nails, and then uh, save as again. Let's save this one as a PNG. Right, so I have it on the desktop and sprite. So let's just quickly go into back into Unity again. Assets. Yes, it does, Daniel. It does have streaming now. Yeah, um, I'm actually uh, making some nails to uh, see. Um, again, I'm not the best artist, as you can tell, but uh, yeah, no. At least to have an idea of what is going on. So, nails, and then let's just quickly change the settings here. Uh, single sprite, yeah. Okay, so point, let's see, 16 bit. I think, let's see how it actually looks. Well, dang it. I'll have to fix that. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's try this again. Did it update in Unity or not really? Yep, it didn't, so let's just delete this and then import it again. Hey, Dan! So it's you, mate. It's been you all along. Awesome, okay, so I have functional looking nail things. Uh, 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 uh. Righty then, so let's just leave this uh, for now. Uh, it does not say the Okay, change it. Let's call it the shop. Shop. Okay, so we're on level one. <coughs> Actually, let's just open the hub world. Okay, so now let's go back to the character control and let's start programming the nails. So, uh, what will I need to do? So, I'm going to need to add a. Uh, a um, game object, which would be the um, the nails, and then I would need to shoot at it. Should be fair enough. Okay, so public game object uh, nails. And then on the update feature, let's see, there we go. Right, if input dot get button down fire one, why not? It's already default and it is. So um, instantiate our, how do you instantiate mm -mm -mm. <coughs> nails Oh shit, how did you do the instantiate? Oh boy, that's what you get for not programming in a while. Just a few friends over. 
Ah, okay, there we go. So instantiate, uh, spawn point, uh, okay. Or from position to some rotation. Okay, so it has nails. Transform dot position. Transform dot rotation. That should do it. And then um, hmm. Oh yeah, I'm going to need to check if I'm facing right or not. But uh, for now let me just see if this actually shoots. Uh So, nails dot Where is my rigid character? It has to be a rigid body 2D, huh? 2D. Okay, let's see if it works better this time. So, uh, nails.velocity equals a new vector 2. Uh, then let's leave it at 10 for now. Right. I'm pretty sure that will most likely not gonna work, but let's see what exactly happens so that then we may um, may work with it. So let's just put this on the sprite. Okay, now I'll we'll just quickly add this here so that I can add a uh, physics 2D, rigid body 2D, physics 2D, box collider 2D. For now, it is affected by gravity, though. Let's see if what if I uh, make it a really low gravity. Hmm. Oh, okay, of course, gravity scale 0 0.01. That's not really what I intended, but that can give me some ideas. Um, are you coming back down? Ah, oh, shit, sorry. Sorry guys, forgot to change it. Now it already adds a, a sprite render component because um, I imported it as a sprite. But uh, okay, now I have the nails. The nails have a little bit of gravity. Um, but uh, that's kinematic. That happens. Yeah, if I select this kinematic, then it won't uh, affect it. Right then, so let's just try and make this thing shoot. So, let's head out of the way. Uh, let's just check the controls. If 
fire one, there is sick button zero. Let's say it's the um, Z. Let's fire with Z. Nails has not been assigned. Okay, of course it hasn't. That is just what I expected. Oh. Slider and um, is it about D2D with 001? And uh, then let's add this to the prefabs folder. Now, from the prefabs folder, I get the character nails. <coughs> okay. Yeah, plop, 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 plop. <laughs> okay, so I managed to instantiate this, but I'm not adding uh, any impulse to it, which is what I'll have to do. So let's go back into the coding area menu part thingy. And uh, if I switch this with that one, uh, I bet it won't work because uh, it won't be instantiated. So let me check here. Uh, actually, then, if you only have one line of code after the uh, the if statement, you don't need the brackets. But you are totally right, I do have two lines of code. I'm not sure if this will work either. I doubt it will, to be honest, but uh, let's try it out anyway. <laughs> yeah, see? Still doesn't work because what is happening essentially is um so it will um uh, when i press the fire button it will create the nails at the position which um uh, is no problem at all that's what we want and uh but the problem is that when this changes the nails velocity they will already be another object so this code will have nothing to do with them in other words uh even if i you know put it like this Tell the same thing. Okay. So let me just check here real quick. This year, for Valentine's Day, we decided to throw it on the hard party for all of our single friends. Sometimes we'll go around and we steal little gifts and put other stones so it might work way to very well in the cold days. Here it is, of course, the email address there. Total me. Showtime! Give it that way. Yeah, then that is what I'm doing, but I don't think that will uh, actually affect it that way, so uh, let me just see. So, let's try this again, so, Hmm. 
I'm so rusty. try and make this trigger and see if it makes a difference yep it makes some difference but uh, clearly not that much see if I can use that one then uh, so it calls um, all right so transform get an error? Will I get an error if I do it yet? Yeah. Uh, forward. Okay. Right. Let me try it. So. Might as well try this out. Mm, yeah, this ain't gonna work like that. Okay, let me just do some research here and see what I can come up with. Jesus! <laughs> oh God! Let's see. Let's see if this one works. Nope, this doesn't work. Like this guy is saying here.
this probably won't work, but trial and error, it is, yeah. Jesus, I'm so lost here. surprised if this works but I won't be surprised if it doesn't work cannot guess the source of the solution okay so I got some sort of uh, error so let's then see right that velocity oh yeah I'm missing the transform that velocity Oh, 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 oh. New vector two, ten, zero. Nope, I'm just gonna have to use velocity. It doesn't allow me to use transform that velocity. <laughs> Cannot cast. Okay, so what is this? Cannot cast from source type to destination type. Okay, I think it's time to go to Google do some research. everyone is doing it the same that I am but uh, it's I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or what the hell is going on here but uh, huh, okay let me see what I can find so <clears throat> Okay, let me try out this method. So, let's see. Rigid body 2D. 
projectile and then what I'll do is um, I did it. I did it. This worked. I did it. Okay, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to cut this code and make a new script because I already have everything on the the same folder. So let's see. Shooting. Uh, shooting, why not? And all this will do is... There we go. And then and here, okay. Public rigid body 2D nails. That should suffice. Now going to preset. I'm going to also need to remove the nails from here. Okay, so so hopefully this uh, might should be fine. Let's try to build this. Okay, build successful. Where is my player? Great. Add the nails, test it one more time. Pew 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 yay. Okay, now I need to have the nails uh ooh, ooh nice exploit right here. Okay, let's then uh, make them is trigger. Yeah, I should remove the, the gravity, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Uh, I mean, uh, that is working now. So now let's figure out the way to make the, uh, to make them move the way that we are moving. So Right, I think I, yeah.
Okay, so now I'm going to need to access this script so I can get the is facing right. Hopefully that will work properly. Okay, so their movement. Equals. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. How many errors I have, and object reference is required. Yeah, I didn't want to make the script depend on the character movement, just the character direction. I want the, the shot to always have the, the same speed, so that's why I'm trying to use the spacing right or not. So. Actually, just straight to access the other script so hi Tomala Gamer I'm currently using Unity yeah I'm trying to use the, the get component but uh, only if I am um, but uh, because I think the script that I have here is that um, this is on a glider so basically when they get into a glider that glider will be the balloon uh, if the collider is a balloon of course then it will be that game object and then this is uh, it will get the component of that so I need to get the component of the the, uh, the same thing that uh, the script is running on so let's see just get component So, character movement, character movement equals get component, character movement. Will this work? Hmm, it did work. Let's see. So, uh, new vector 2. Alright, so if character movement not facing And um, you see, if I can simplify this instead of just setting velocities, but uh, uh, int projectile speed. So uh, true projectile speed equals 10 else projectile speed 
speed equals minus 10. Accessible due to its protection level. Okay, so let's make this public then. I guess it will have to be. Okay, okay, okay. Right. You're totally right, Mono Develop, as you always are. Projectile speed. Okay, now wish me luck and let's see if this is in the, the works ink. Oh, of course, if that is also working, I'll have to. Okay, great, that is working perfectly fine. Woohoo! Now I just need to change the direction in which it fires. So, uh, if it is uh, facing right, then. Um, Uh, 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 hmm. let's put this right here so this way I can do this actually this one can stay like this but if this one is not true then um, let's see Okay, uh, how did this work? Mm -hmm. Let this is the scale, the final call scale, the scale. So I'll copy all of this, no need to be writing it all again. So vector 3, the scale equals transform at local scale, okay. The scale dot x times equals minus one to show that local scale equals the scale. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So basically, we create a vector three, and uh, and we get the local scale. Then we change the local scale. No, we change that scale to the negative one, so it will flip horizontally. And then uh, we say that the the local scale of this object will be ah no okay 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 and instead of transform I need to put nails uh, rather projectile and here will need to be projectile as well shit Try this either way. Hmm. Then uh, are you are you participating on the um, the hangout jam? You know that one where you generate a random name and then uh, you just. Uh, make a game based on uh, what you got you could try that that's always a fun thing to do and you still have like uh, 10 days so boobies uh, okay I was distracted by boobage but yeah alrighty then so let's figure out a, a way to flip this
Or I think this should work. Of course, I'm so retarded. God damn it. So yeah, it wasn't working because I was just using transform.local scale, but I need to do projectile.transform.local scale. So let's do that here as well. And now uh, I believe that uh, this will probably work, but we'll have to see. Okay, so shooting right just fine and shooting left just fine. I did it, ladies and gentlemen. Here we... what the fuck? Okay, I'll have to quickly uh, check this. So, da, da, da. And it falls. Ground is the group of circles. I don't know what is ground. So, okay. So here's what I'll have to do. I'm going to have to edit the unity to make sure that uh, the ground is only the ground because it's currently checking for everything to make to see what the ground is. So here we go. What is ground? Nothing, then ground. Okay. Pew, 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 and now I can't infinitely double jump. Alrighty then, so now we can certainly go ahead and uh, improve this. So basically, I believe that uh, for improvements, first um, I can maybe first throw uh, nails that are... Uh, actually, let me just change something here real quick. What if I put minus one? I wonder if that uh, will make the guy appear behind me. Okay. Hmm, how weird. Okay, so... That's some good progress for today already. I've been uh, 1.1. What do you mean 1.1? 1.1. What the for the Z? No, the problem is that the, when I instantiate um, when I instantiate uh, a nail, it will then get the player's position. So, regardless of uh, if I change the Z of the nail or the character, uh, it will always appear on top. So. Only if one is shooting uh, where I instantiated transfer position. <laughs> position dot y and then minus one, perhaps. Uh, no, that scares me. Okay, no matter then. Uh, so now <coughs> I'm going to have to um, to make sure that uh, I can pop balloons with the nails. Uh, then what do you think? Do you think that uh, if you pop a balloon with the nails it should still count towards the combo, uh, increase the counter and um, you know be almost the same as if the character popped them or should they just... Um... Oh damn. Unity has stopped working. 
Hooray! Okay, so as I was saying, while well, I try to boot up Unity again, um, do you think that uh, the needles should uh, count to the combo and the multipliers and everything, or should they just. Uh... Okay, so they should count. Right, and uh, now another question. Uh, do you think um, the uh, you should start with a nail gun from the start? Or do you think that... Um, uh, unity, you little bitch. You little bitch. Right, so do you think we should start from the beginning with the um, with the uh, with an nail gun, or do you think that should be something that the character needs to find or buy? God damn it. The fuck, Unity. The fuck. The fuck, you little son of a bitch. Okay, let me see if everything is still working. No, of course it isn't. No. Uh, is it because of the input? I hope it is. Okay, alright. Train tracks! Yeah, I was, uh, for example, that is also why I, uh, I'm i trying to make that learning, like um, here with the, the level design, for example, on this first level, uh, you cannot reach the balloon by just jumping, so you will need to double jump to hit it, and then it will jump you with enough force for you to pop up the yellow balloon, right? So, on the second level, you have this line of balloons, so you can pop them, and it uh, shows you that uh, you can pop the that you should pop the yellow balloon on the end um, and on this one okay this one will probably not be the third level because it is way more complex and the idea is that uh, you go all the way around this so that you can try and pop it last and there's the bug again oh fuck yeah Alright, I'll have to need to change this again because it didn't save because Unity crashed. Thank you, Unity. Nothing. Ground. Let's just save before anything else happens. Save project. Save. S save scene. But yeah, uh, you get the idea. Uh, I mean. Uh, Okay, so I'll just go into a sprite real quick and I'm going to um, to create three levels so that you can upgrade the nails. So let's see, new, let's see, new, okay. So this will be level one of the nail gun. This will be level two and that will be level three. Sounds good, right? So at first you only shoot one nail, at second you shoot two nail, and at three you shoot three nail. Singular. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so let's see. Save as nail one. L2 Yes, why not? Uh, you dirty little bitch Nail 3 Did I do this right? Let me just check here the Sprite folder Damn, I created a lot of nail things. Damn, damn, girl. Oh, okay, so when I save it, all of them get saved. Alright, so let me just rename this real quick. Okay, so just for testing purposes, let's uh, import some new assets. So nail one, assets, import, nail two, and I forgot to show you again, assets, import, nail three. Alright, so now I can delete these nails, I will always remember you, transfer this to sprites, delete the original nails now let's work on this so again point pixels per unit 10 otherwise it looks really tiny and it's really difficult to work with it that way uh, 10 point again 16 bits uh, 10 point 16 bits all right, so after I just test uh, these uh, different nails, I think I'm going to end it for now. But uh, let's just make sure that this is working first. So nails one, just move this here. Nails two, move this here there. And nail three. So now let's zoom in here. And uh, all three of these will have uh, a rigid body. So I guess I can add it like that, right? Rigid body, I can select zero. Now all of them will also have a box collider and a trigger. However, since this one will be smaller, we're going to do just that. We're going to reduce this. Yes, we are, 0 0.3, because it's three pixel. Oh, damn it. 0 0.3 okay 0 0.3 hmm uh, 5 and uh, I think 5 is okay I mean, now that I think about it... Yeah, this should be good. This should be good, even if it is a, a little bit uh, higher on the back end. It doesn't really matter because the balloons will be stationary, so it only matters if only the tip uh, hits. So, let's then uh, work on this one again as well. And uh, this one will actually have to be a bit... I guess that sounds pretty good. And uh, this one... Uh, I think we could actually... Just so you know. Just a little bit picky. So 
other one will just be for this front nail just to make it a little bit more accurate okay mm -hmm. okay so now prefabs let's add all these three as prefabs here okay just one at a time Nails one, nails two, nails three. Now just quickly test this. Let's go back into the uh, character. I change this to the uh, nails one. Pew pew pew. Okay, nails two. Okay, and nails three. Okay, perfect. So, and my dog is having a nightmare. He just started barking out of nowhere. Alrighty then. So, I guess that does it for now. Uh, I've done quite a lot of progress here. So, uh, about the uh, the tiles, uh, then what I did was just. Um, as you saw in a sprite, I just um, I just made eight by eight pixel um, tiles. Like uh, let's see, open here to like here the grass, for example. I just did eight by eight. Then I exported it as a PNG, imported it uh, into Unity. Uh, like here sprites, for example. Uh, like the grass, imported it into Unity, I changed it to uh, 10 pixels because the less this um, this number is, the larger it will be. So for example, if I were to change this to 100, oh, not zero, 100, and apply, everything will get smaller. If I just do one, it will get much larger. So 10 is a good compromise because working with minuscule measures really isn't uh, that helpful um, and then what I did to work on the grid like um, for example if I uh, grab the store here and I press control key it will snap like a grid uh, what I did I believe it was uh, somewhere around here project settings I think Uh, how did I do it again? I think it was preferences. Let me see. I think it was build setting. I think it really was project setting. So, oh, god damn it! Snap settings. Yeah, move X, move uh, Y. Ah, oh, shit! Still showing. Okay, fuck. I explained that whole thing, but uh, I wasn't showing Unity. Right. So, uh, quickly again. Uh, so what I did was I just uh, made it in a sprite. Then I imported it into Unity. Uh, on the settings here, I just changed this to a point because it's with low quality. And then here, the pixels per unit. The bigger this number is, the um, the smaller it will become. So if I press apply, all the grass will become tiny. If uh, I change it to one, it will become huge. 
So I, I chose 10. By default, uh, it's 100, but I chose 10 because it's a pain to work with uh, such small scales. And then to make it snap like that, you're just coming to edit, snap settings, and then you can change it here, like move X and move Y. And since it has 8 by 8 pixels uh, multiplied by 10, um, it will be that 0 0.8. So uh, since everything I've done is essentially in blocks, like by 8 by 8, or the door is uh, two pieces of 8 by 8, so it's 16 uh, by 8, then it works just fine with everything. And uh, but I guess that does it. I think I'll end the stream for now. Uh, is there anything else uh, you'd like me to show you or explain to you about this? Hello? Can I go to sleep now? Can I? Huh? 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 Well, I guess everything is done then. Uh, I shall continue tomorrow. Uh, I think tomorrow I'll probably work on the upgrade system and the shop perhaps, uh, making a way to, for you to actually buy. And I'll also probably figure out a way to make the score that you get at the end of the level to convert into a currency or something. So yeah, uh, either way, thanks for watching. Uh, at least you then, not sure if someone else is there. So yeah, uh, have a great day and shit. And then uh, tomorrow or one of these days, I'll be back and uh, I'll finish what I've started. See you guys later. Bye bye. Kisses in the buttholes. Don't be disgusting. Why are you still here? I'm going to end this now. I really am. Look, I'm going to click the button now. Goodbye.